Let's chat. Let's chat. Happy Thursday. You begin. Let's chat. You okay. ready? All right. Yes. Uh, some really cool <laughs> stories in our uh, table talk uh, section this morning. A couple yeah. of these you're going to want to share with your friends and let them share it with their friends and that sort of thing. Right. It all involves a very special young man from South Carolina who is helping feed hurricane evacuees. Now, he is six. Meet Jermaine Bell. Jermaine's birthday is coming up September the 8th. And he'd been saving up all of his birthday money so he could take a trip to Disney World. Now, in the middle of the hurricane action, he decided he was going to empty his piggy bank and buy hundreds of hot dogs for the hurricane evacuees. He is six years old and gave up his birthday money. That's so precious. He's been uh, standing mm -hmm. on Highway 125 handing out free hot dogs. He has served nearly 100 evacuees. And Jermaine hopes that once Dorian is over, his birthday celebration can continue. Did I mention he is six years old and does something like this? There are great things ahead for this young man. I Disney, this is your chance to take. Boy, Bring him to Disney World. You're not kidding. <laughs> and if I was in charge yes. of Disney World, I would do that. We Absolutely. would roll out the red carpet for him Bring and his him family. In. Really, That's really wonderful. neat story. Yeah. Well, we're thinking of everyone who is still in the path of Dorian mm -hmm. as it heads on up the coast. Yeah. And um, gonna, and I know you're keeping us updated. Yes, and we will have more on that coming up either later on in this show or coming up today on News 12 mm -hmm. now at noon. So we go from one food story to another, and just the old saying is, you can't make an omelet without breaking a few eggs. Well, that's very true. But, you know, yes. the average omelet has, what, two eggs in it? Maybe? Yeah. Hmm. Yep. And a chef... This is a little bit more than two or three <laughs> eggs. <laughs> no kidding. There is a chef from Japan who made a record-breaking egg noodle. Oh. How record-breaking? It is the world's longest egg noodle. Do you want to take a guess at how many feet it measured at? Well, as you can tell by that picture, it's longer than the <laughs> Washington Monument is tall. 602 feet. Mm -hmm. I don't know how many eggs it took, but I got to tell you, for uh, <laughs> one egg noodle to be 602 feet high, pretty impressive. I wonder wow. whose idea that was and how many know. eggs. Uh, and most, yeah, I wonder how many eggs. And most importantly, who got to eat it. Hmm. You know, you think, so it's the world's longest egg noodle. That's no easy feat. You no, ever that, tried I mean, making pasta? Keep, yeah, to keep it from breaking <laughs> and stuff, that would be hard. It is no easy feat. Yeah. So now cool. we turn to manners of fashion. I love this story. As someone who's a professional bridesmaid, mm -hmm. I love this story. So in Nebraska, a maid of honor, one of the most important roles as a bridesmaid, turned back the hands of time with her wedding attire. So the bride took a risk, many would say, and told the <laughs> bridal party that they had free reign to wear whatever they wanted to the wedding. So the maid of honor, who was also the bride's sister, lucky her, took full advantage of that and showed up dressed as a T-Rex. You can see her standing right next to the bride. Yep, dressed as a T-Rex. <laughs> I love this. I wish I would have thought of this before. I've had some weddings where I've been able to, you know, kind of pick a dress of certain color or right. something like that, and I wish I had this opportunity. Well, you're the one that said you're a professional bridesmaid, so <laughs> I'm betting you'll have another chance to do just this. Well, I'm in a wedding in about two weeks, mm -hmm. but the dress was picked for us, and it's already hanging in my closet. Oh, Jess, but you're a trendsetter. How tempting it is to show up. You're a tradition breaker. It's very tempting to show up wedding morning just like this, though, and say I got my letters with these. <laughs> I'll find you the T-Rex <laughs> outfit if you'll wear it. Oh, I will. I will show will up to you the really? wedding. Yes. All right. Lindsay, I'm Y'all hold on a minute. <laughs> T-Rex outfit. Got it. I will. <laughs> 